Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earth Master out here. 9.36 p.m. That's California time. May 8th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Uh, looks like 1.4 across California. Also 2.9 up in Ohio. This has been a little area of interest here recently. I believe that's a third or fourth quake in the last couple of weeks out here across this area around Pleasant City, Ohio. little interesting swarm going on out there. I don't know if there's uh, maybe some older fault boundaries out there. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map. Uh, most of the fault areas and hazard zones are south of this area. If you look at the uh, U.S. hazard map, they do not list uh, this area of Ohio in any type of uh, U.S. or uh, earthquake hazard. So that's rather interesting there. Have to look into that a little bit more, see what's going on across this region. Because so, uh, it seems like it's not going away. As uh, far as what's underneath this area, a lot of green vegetation. Um, I don't see any... Um, well, what is that right there? Is that some type of... Almost looks like some type of oil pad. I don't know. Is anybody from Ohio around in watching this video? Let me know. Maybe there's uh, some type of oil pumping operations out there. Because that uh, actually almost looks like one right there. If that's the case, and uh, uh, we could be seeing just earthquake activity out there in the uh, some oil fields. But I don't know. We'll double check that, see what's going on. Either way, 2.9 uh, shaking things up out there just earlier this evening. The oil fields in Texas still getting rock, rocked out there uh, with uh, earthquake activity. Uh, Southern California, a handful of earthquakes there. Obviously, uh, still keeping an eye on it. Nothing big happening yet. A couple smaller earthquakes around the San Jacinto Fault Zone and the Elsinore Fault. Uh, the Garlock Fault Shear Zone up here. Still seeing some periodic earthquake activity. And one earthquake here near Avenal. This is just off the uh, park field segment of the San Andreas Fault. That should be coming up here for uh, a six-pointer at least. Uh, it happens every 20 to 22 years. And the last one was back in 2004. Uh, further up the line here. Hayward Fault, uh, quite active as well today. Got about nine earthquakes of various magnitudes, including a 2.9 just north of Fremont, right smack dab on the Hayward Fault. No big earthquake activity to report there for now, but again, it's science, you know, it's stuff like this that we have to watch. Maybe these could very well be foreshocks. We'll keep an eye on that. Up into the uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains outside of Truckee. This earthquake was added after the fact, it looks like, just added in sometime today. A little odd 2.7, very shallow earthquake up there. And Northern California, handful of earthquakes again, 2.4 and a 2.7. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map this evening here, see what we have going on. 77 epicenters of trimmer continuing down here across the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, could be why we're seeing periodic earthquake activity ramping up here. Um, it is uh, at the extreme southern end, so if you match this earthquake activity with the movement up north here or uh, inland this is not actually happening at the surface level this is happening underneath this area at about 35 45 kilometers deep into the deeper area of the cascadia subduction zone so when that happens there obviously we're bending that plate boundary the bending the plate here adding further strain upstream across the locked area of the cascadia and uh, we are seeing some strain quakes take place here with this uh, earthquake activity recently across that area of the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, nothing big happening now, but uh, it definitely looks quite strained with this uh, trimmer activity resulting in earthquakes upstream. Uh, Washington area, handful of earthquakes there, really nothing major going on. And Yellowstone National Park, I believe that swarm is uh, long gone. Let's double check the uh, latest imagery here. Uh, really not seeing anything of abnormal movement. Some thunderstorm activity earlier today that was being picked up on the seismograph stations. We checked this out earlier and verified that this was indeed thunder. Some thunderstorms rolling through the area. Did not show up on all the seismograph stations, just a couple where the thunderstorms were forming and uh, moving through. All right, as uh, far as the world view goes, nothing going on across New Zealand for now. Um, they're kind of out there in that middle point area where... Uh, Actually, it looks like they've had a couple earthquakes since that 5.6 earlier today. 3.2 and a 3.6 spread out across the plate boundary there, north and south island. So 
So starting to fill in there as expected. There's always obviously a little chance that we could, could see something bigger. Keep your eye there on the uh, New Zealand region. Up here in Japan, a couple more earthquakes. Uh, nothing big, just a couple four stirring up out there. And the Aleutian Trench up here. Looks like we got a four-pointer up here earlier this evening. Slow down. 4.2, just before 8 o'clock here, California time. At uh, fairly shallow, but it is right there at the subduction zone level of the Aleutian Trench. Watch that, because that may be leading to something bigger. Obviously, this region can get some big-time earthquakes. It's right this area where we're seeing that four-pointer and other earthquake activity is right around where that 8.1 struck back in 2021. Handful of uh, earthquakes up here. Um, south of Anchorage, it looks like. A couple smaller ones, some twos, and even a three-pointer out there. Nothing big. Uh, it looks like one of the latest quakes here across Indonesia for a 4.5. Anything else major going on here across the globe? Uh, it's quite active, obviously quite active, and the plate boundaries are very visible today with periodic earthquake activity up and down the board across the Aleutian Trench, even up around the Myanmar area. Uh, things definitely on the move, so we'll see what happens throughout the evening here. All right, space weather activity. Anything uh, major going on here? Looks like maybe a sea flare. Very minimal sea flare at that. Barely. Um, we've had a number of sunspots out here that have been uh, fairly massive, but uh, really not doing much. Just sitting there looking pretty as it scooted across the globe of the sun, the disk of the sun there. And uh, 4079 is just about out of sight, out of mind. And that huge sunspot area will be... You know, obviously no longer visible here in a couple days. While it's visible, I, I don't think it's going to produce anything. I don't see any complexity within that sunspot core. Uh, in fact, the, the remainder of these look like they've uh, took a nosedive as far as any type of magnetic complexity. So really not too concerned with any of these sunspots producing any flaring, aside from maybe a sea flare or two. Aurora activity, it looks like maybe May 9th time period. That would be a UTC time of... Uh, 1821 May 9th and right now uh, UTC what do we got going on there UTC time May 9th is uh, 04 so that would be later tonight but it looks like a little earthquake activity showing up around the um, Japan area right now a couple small spikes on Yellowstone 2 Yellowstone 2 and also uh, Mendocino, California, on the complete opposite side of the plate boundary there, but same plate, Pacific plate, uh, picked up a little earth, well, picked up, may have picked up that P wave, or maybe some adjustment at the same time there. It's kind of odd that got that type of signal thousands and thousands of miles away. Uh, let's see here where that earthquakes, uh, it shows Japan, but nothing coming in here yet. Oh, there we go. Looks like it was a 4.3 about 10 minutes ago. That's a little bit closer down here around the Nankai Trough. Looks like things are starting to work its way down this area with a lot of movement all over the place recently, right? Things are straining out here. And this area has been absolutely quiet uh, in the last couple days, but it's got big time potential here, folks. This is a region that the Japanese government put out a mega quake warning for last year because of the increasing chances here the time that we've last had a big rupture and all the uh well all the pressure and movement that's being applied here in this area uh maybe uh getting ready to go here gotta watch that that's one of the latest quakes 4.3 just off the nankai trough all right uh storm prediction center for the remainder of the night a little bit of slight risk for some uh, severe weather out there across uh yeah it looks like texas birmingham alabama georgia area a little two percent chance of uh, some tornado activity it looks like this is early or this is tonight early morning hours wednesday or uh wind and some hail threats out there as well for the uh, remainder of the night all right, folks, uh, I'm going to call it a uh, little tired, so we'll catch you guys out here in the morning sometime. It is Friday, right? Friday. Finally made it here to the weekend. One more earthquake right smack dab 
on the San Andreas Fault. There, see the southern segment. Every time I get ready to end the update, and it's been happening here, last couple updates here, I'll notice this little one just popping up out of the blue just to say hello. But, uh, yeah, not a big one. It is right on the San Andreas Fault, though, the southern segment. So, see what happens, right? I mean, that's all we can do right now. Just be prepared. We'll catch you guys out here tomorrow for the Friday morning update. Stay safe, folks.